have i think completed almost a, almost a year and a half already yes. more than that basically yeah. both of us are travel uh, freaks we always thought we'll so, travel by road and uh, of course travel by road means fitness was the prime thing for and me i actually joined you all i was in my pre menopause yeah so at that age it was a little difficult for me to accept that yeah i can oh, handle this it. kind of and i don't know i just loved both of you <laughs> smita and deepa <laughs> I, I am actually so it's fond of both of you. Going you know? out and everything, but the movements are a little, you know, stiff because basically I'm a stiff body. But enthusiasm is there, and uh, yeah, you made it possible, you know, both of you do that. You all, you all took care of me in such a way that though I had my pains and aches, my cervical, my back issues, everything, but you took so much of care. It was, you know, I I have no words to say. so hello and welcome to this forum it's uh, a great thing to come and talk to you on a personal level so we talk professionally but it's nice to have you on board and as the audience are listening i would want you to introduce yourself tell about yourself to the audience uh, hello smita it's indeed a great pleasure for me also this is the first time i'm doing something like this so i am also really excited to talk to you i know at a personal level uh, i have always been talking to you but this is something different i'm quite aware of it uh yeah uh, so let me just introduce myself like you said actual name is lakshmi verma but since there were an, there was another lakshmi verma who is my cousin who introduced me to this uh, yoga session of yours i was uh, called lucky since that is my nickname and thanks for uh, appreciating the fact that you called me by my nickname uh i have i think completed almost a uh, almost a year and a half or little more than that with you yeah, yeah. and Close uh, two years it, yeah almost two years yeah by uh, may june i'll complete two years so basically i was in the middle east for almost 30 years i was working in a bank i used to work for hsbc then standard chartered and then i worked for abu dhabi commercial bank in dubai and i chose to take a voluntary retirement to come back to india in fact uh, me and my husband we are just the two of us so both of us chose to take a retirement and we came back to india basically because we have some family commitments and uh, another thing what we wanted the primary thing also of coming back to india is basically both of us are travel uh, freaks so we wanted to do a lot of traveling in india and traveling in india means for us it was only by road we never thought that we'll go anywhere any way else other you know like a flight or a train or something like that no we always thought we'll travel by road and uh, of course travel by road means fitness was the prime thing for me and at my age when i actually joined you all i was in my pre menopause yeah so at that age it was a little difficult for me to accept that yeah i can handle this kind of a travel so the moment lakshmi told me that uh, there is chechi there is something like this so i just got myself into it and i don't know i just loved both of you <laughs> smita and deepa <laughs> i, I am actually so fond of both of you you know if i see you <laughs> both, i feel very happy you know you are like part of my family you know i feel like you all are some small siblings of my you know so i feel very happy when you guys tell me oh do this do don't do that do it like this so yeah that's how it is and i started my uh, yoga with you yes primarily initially yes i have a, like you asked me once whether i know to dance no i cannot <laughs> so i have just stiff body i know mm-hmm. movements everything is a little difficult for me though yeah, i am enthusiastic yeah though i am very enthusiastic about going out and everything but the movements are a little you know stiff because basically i am a stiff body but enthusiasm is there and uh, yeah you made it possible you know both of you that you all made me flexible and you made me go through all the uh, you know whatever yogic exercises you all have allowed me to do and you all took care of me in such a way that though i had my pains and aches my cervical my back issues everything but you took so much of care it was you know i i have no words to say that you are living your dream you are traveling everywhere yeah, right i am traveling everywhere <laughs> believe me my biggest dream was the road trip
trip from Kerala to Kashmir and in between to the Himalayas to the Spiti. To go through that, I had to make myself a stronger person, especially feet, the legs. Yeah. And that is where I had always a problem because I always had this knee pain and I had fallen down and all that. So that exercises, whatever you have helped me, yes, Smita, it, uh, it really worked. In fact, so I remember when you had come to us, you also had this uh, lower back pain radiating to your tail and yes. a lot of issues with the back. You were not able to sit and all. Yeah, I was not able to sit and now I can't believe that almost 10,000 kilometers I sat in the car and we traveled and I didn't complain. That is my, uh, that is where I'm surprised sometimes. <laughs> oh, you didn't complain. <laughs> True. Even your shoulder and neck, you had issues with cervical spondylitis. But yeah. when you went for that trip, even we were like, I, yeah. we were, we kept our fingers crossed that hope you complete it and you come back happy without any complaints. And when you came back. It was a very big achievement for ourselves, I would it say. Is. We also it is, felt it, it is a very big achievement, believe me. It is, you know, because uh, I didn't think, you know, that I would be able to do it. I have done a little bit of yoga when I was in Dubai. That is in 2016-17. Yeah, that's your, like your yeah. past experience with yeah. yoga. So how was it different with us? See, at that point of time, uh, well, I was slightly younger. <laughs> now I'm 56. So see, uh, 2016, yes. I was more into, you know, looking fit, you know, looking fit, no looking trim, because I was not a very trim body always. So when you work, you know, you're always, you have that uh, looks, which, you know, always you want to, you know, maintain your peer body. Pressure. Yeah. yeah, the peer pressure, you know, and that you have to look slim and, you know, you should not look like an obese, uh, you know, person. So that is why basically I joined the uh, Hatta Yoga at that time. But yeah, yeah, Hatha yoga. Uh, yeah, Hatha yoga. And uh, I didn't continue it. I think it was only for eight months. And uh, after eight months, uh, yeah, a little bit of what helped me at that point, uh, let me be honest, was the pranayama. That was something which I got introduced to and I was feeling very happy about it. But otherwise, the exercises, no. I think you didn't enjoy uh, No, I didn't. Then the, uh, once I joined here, here the thing was, you know, you started it from the basic. So that is what I wanted always. And that actually helped me. Because yeah, we like always start with how to stand, sit, yeah. getting your posture corrected first and then taking you through the breath work and the exercise part. Because every individual has a different posture, different way of, uh, you know, the body structure, everything. So to understand that and to understand that online smita is a big thing. In fact, initially, I remember, you know, the way you guys used to monitor me, you know, like you will look at me from this, uh, you will be talking to me and Liba will be observing me. Like, Kiddi, no, hand is that side. Okay. Then I realized, yes. And then while you are showing me all the exercises, you know, Liba, you know, Liba is observing me from the other corner. So yeah. it was like, it was, uh, it was so, so minute. So that actually helped me. So yeah, that is where you know, my confidence grew. Actually, uh, I think the plus point with us was we were always online. It was not that during COVID we came right. online. Since we were there from the beginning, we understood how a person deals when it is online. And right. when we started these live classes, we were very clear that the concept with, with FHY was started. We will maintain it even during the live sessions. That posture correction, the alignment, not injuring you further yeah. is very important when you get into fitness. And not... I don't think most of the fitness portals, they even know the mentors also, I don't think they know it. Uh, or even if they don't know, they don't take out this kind of time and attention to make sure that the person is not injuring him or herself. Further. Yeah. The main target with most of the fitness forum is always and always weight loss. Yeah. So lose weight and uh, we'll give you this Correct. much of weight. But that's not how the body flows because body is more than the weight and how you look externally. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. That is something which I have learned with y'all. You know, I have actually learned it with y'all. And now when you talk about strength in your thighs, strength in your knee, strength in your, uh, you know, uh, feet, hands, I can understand, you know, that each part of the body needs, you know, a lot of attention. And that, you know, uh, my new details that y'all went through, that is what has kept me going. In fact, initially when Lakshmi, my cousin, also introduced me, to, uh, was telling me about this, it took me some time because I was not myself very convinced, nay, online, how can it be an online class, you know, 
because they will just tell me to do something and maybe i don't know because i know myself you know my body i am not so flexible so i said no it may not be then she said no no chichi uh, you just get into this you will just enjoy it and then from day 1 till today now you are like for me you know my uh, lifeline <laughs> i know so you don't even miss classes as such unless in i do yeah unless i am traveling traveling unless you are traveling <laughs> and it is not possible for me to get a proper location you know where i can actually do it otherwise no i don't ah usually you travel through the traveling through the hills and the jungles and the <laughs> deserts so obviously how would you so you know, yeah. i also like you say that when you had come you had all these aches and pains in the joints yeah, and yeah, body yeah, yeah. and now uh, you are walking daily trying to cover 10000 steps daily 10000 right? steps so, yes on a daily basis i try to do that you know and i am trying even more so that you know i actually okay i'm 56 now so i for me now other than the fact that yes of course if you reduce your weight it will be better for your body for your feet to carry you ahead but for me it's not only reduction of weight for me it is to stay fit just stay fit physically and mentally and mentally also with your uh, meditation classes and your healing sessions that you've had okay it has helped me very much in fact sometimes you know whenever you you know there was a class where you had a lamp session yeah that uh, yeah that was you know incredible you know that was so good i i always uh, wish you know that we have more of that because i was like so so you know emotional that time i don't know why but you know that was something like you know it was some uh, you know someone bringing in brightness to my life aapka hukum sar aankhon pe we have more of that <laughs> yeah, i i liked it you know i just loved it i don't know why i i can't explain it now but uh, that is something which comes very prominent in my mind and then yes your meditation classes yeah we have had a lot of that lot yeah. of that so you've like so many like you said classes. that it helps you mentally mentally helps unlock you mentally. the channels clear of your thought process yeah, yeah. for me uh, coming back to india after working for so many years and not doing any job you know like a regular job also was a difficult thing i remember oh, you had shared yeah that. i had shared it with you so for me to keep my mind calm during this session is very very important otherwise you know i would be like a real uh, irritable character for everybody around here my family so f- you all help me <laughs> i don't have to go elaborate but this help me yeah i okay. have become calm yeah i i understand you are getting a bit emotional so let's just yeah. go on a different track right now <laughs> so <laughs> when you had joined us you were undergoing this pre menopausal period yeah, a lot yeah, of yeah, yeah. um problems emotionally and hot flushes and a lot of things body yeah, physically yeah. and emotionally both you were going do you think your journey with us the way we proceeded slow and steady whether it was physically or mentally it helped you making this process easy because now you, that you have attained your menopause how was the transition period yeah yeah definitely in fact uh, when i joined you it was my pre menopause and uh, it definitely helped me because during the pre menopause of course you know there are so many emotional ups and downs you know it becomes very difficult for an individual to handle it and for me in addition to that the change of place change of atmosphere climate everything together so for and plus the covid lockdown so it was a combination of everything coming in one shot so definitely this was a blessing in disguise for me yeah i have no doubts about it in fact all your exercises you know some exercises which you make us do which you say is good for the lower abdomen the uterus and everything yes that helps yeah, we do that hormonal yeah. yoga sessions yes hormonal yoga sessions yes that helped me a lot that definitely helped me a lot because fact, um please go no, ahead no no in fact no those are the things you know which actually uh, unknowingly uh, it has kept me going otherwise uh, with uh, menopause and all i see my relatives and my cousins who are slightly younger than me they are all going through a little difficult phase but for me yeah it is just going through easily now so i know i can understand that maybe because of all the exercises that i do yeah so we have had other a few also in our uh, with us in fhy family who have had early menopause also and when we hear them also the transition period had been tough but the moment they incorporated uh, our exercises and uh, the nutrition many of them have taken the nutrition plan at that time 
So the process becomes easy, milder. You are yeah. a little more better because your hormones tend to start sorting. It's already you are going through an uh, hormonal havoc while the menopause is happening. Yeah. And that time when these factors, external factors come, it tends to balance it out. Right? Help you process or synthesize this whole transition in your body. It helps you take it easily. You're more yeah. prepared in terms of physical approach or emotional approach. You know, yeah. this is going, this is happening. And yes, I have to accept it. And yeah. this is how I will do. So the moment the mind and body comes in sync, uh, the difficult ways become a little easy. Correct. And, okay. and uh, with this yoga, yeah, it made a lot of difference. In fact, like, that's what I'm saying. It's only when I go in retrospect and, and I think of it, and that's when I realize, yeah, actually I didn't have a problem because I was doing all this yoga. How far you have come. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In fact, yes, that definitely. Now I told you, now even when I'm, tra even my travel plans, everything, it, it's wholly because of this yoga exercises that I'm doing. Otherwise I won't be fit. Because I have a cervical problem, I have a slight back problem, you know. Uh, so only this yoga so, exercises have helped. How many days was your trip from uh, Kerala to Kashmir and then Spiti? You had actually extended, you planned only till Kashmir. Yeah, and in, fact, you... yeah in fact, we had planned only to go from Kerala to uh, Spiti, which was an organized tour. And that was supposed to be for around 10 to 11 days. But the moment we reached there, we got so excited, you know, after we went to Spiti. And then we thought, okay, Kashmir is just a little away. So then we just went up to Srinagar. Okay. And then from Srinagar, we went to Vaishnav Devi. Then we went to Amritsar. We then came back to Ayodhya. In fact, we covered around 14 states. So every state. In fact, I'll tell you something, you know, I don't know how, but maybe it has, it has helped. I have, a, I have a very sensitive stomach. And this breathing, yoga, exercises helped me with that. I didn't have a single stomach upset in this 40 days. And everybody is stunned with it. Because everyone thinks that the moment I go out and I eat something, immediately I'll have a, I'll have a problem. But maybe all these exercises and all, you know, help my stomach. And uh, I didn't have any problem that, that, that way also. So the people you were going around with were your age or younger to you? Everybody is younger. <laughs> so you're young at heart. Everybody is younger. <laughs> yeah. And so, and, and you know, my, my actually thing, thing is, you know, even uh, my thing was that uh, I have to do what they're doing. I know yeah. I can't do the maximum that they're doing, but still, you know, because my yoga exercises help me like a little bit of uh, climbing, you know, some small mountains and all that. I said, no, no, no. This is something which I wanted to do at a younger age, which I didn't do because I was so engrossed in my professional career. But now I am free, so I have to do. So that is the reason whenever you tell me that your thighs, this exercise is very good for your thighs, for your knees and all, I get very excited. Because not for any other reason. Yeah, next time when I'm going <laughs> somewhere, this will help me, you know. <laughs> and I was like, what is this? So what was uh, you know, the feedback you got from your people who were traveling with you? Like, I'm sure they were looking up to you and you gave them yeah, a lot of yeah. more it's motivation. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. They, were, they were very excited. And in fact, they used to wonder, you know, like how we are able to do this. Okay, both me and my husband, you know, and we are not, we were not complaining. And to get up in the morning, early morning, cold, climate, anything, you know, we both of us didn't complain about anything. So I was like, you know, adaptable so easily. So they were just wondering and they thought, yeah. And then I had to explain to them that I do yoga and all. Okay. But of course, my body fear structure doesn't show so much that I was doing yoga. But then, yeah, still, you know, they felt that I am fit enough. Yeah, you know, that's what that I, I, yeah, they felt I was fit enough and that I could handle it. Means I was not complaining about anything. So that is one advantage, you know, with uh, now, with um, all these things, with uh, with the people who are younger to you at the same caliber and level as them is itself, you know, it shows how fit you are. And yeah. might as well, um, the younger generation understands that fitness is not only how you look externally. Exactly. Exactly. It, is com it comes completely from within. Yeah, it has to come from within. Because how you look, you know, sometimes some people are so slim and, you know, perfect figures. But the moment you tell them to walk for five minutes, they are exhausted and they want to sit. Also, uh, in uh, in our FHY, um, like 
uh, experience, we have seen that we we come across with many people who you, when they come to us, we're like, okay, why, what is your goal when you have come to us? Because they're already fit externally. They are not overweight. Most of the people, 90% still come to us for weight loss, but 10% comes for their stamina, strength, or, you know, they have a goal. I want to learn a uh, run marathon, or this is my uh, fitness goal for this year. And I need your help. Still 10% come like that, but most of the people still come for weight loss or tummy reduction or thigh reduction and all that is the main concept. So, uh, like, like you say, this has to be from inside. Exactly. And uh, what we have seen that we have seen these uh, slim people also when they come to us and when we ask them, that's when we come to know they have high level of cholesterol. So though they are very thin and you will not come to know, but when we start taking their history and briefing about themselves, their medical conditions, that's when we are amazed. Okay. It, and it's so sad because the world thinks these are the best bodies, you know, but they are suffering inside. They is, uh, there, there had been a client who said, I keep falling sick every now and then. I can't lift my own child. I have no strength. You know, every two weeks I'm sick. So we had to work on her immune system. There was another one who came only for strength that, you know, I just can't lift my, as I said, I can't lift my kid. I have to, I have to push myself every time the child cries. I have to sit down first and then pamper the child. So that's also very sad state when you're emotionally or you want to do, but you can't do certain things. You know what, uh, Smita, actually, I don't know, but I also used to be very uh, susceptible to catching a cold, cough, everything. But now, like when you're just talking, I was just wondering, you know, I think over the last few years, uh, I have not caught a cold except for once when it was a little bad uh, day that day. Otherwise, I, nev I, know I never catch a cold. Maybe that is because I'm doing all this in pranayama and this yogic exercises. I, I do. And my cousins, every month, some of them, you know, they catch a cold. So I just wonder, I said, your immune system is really bad, you know. So I think, yes, all this has helped me. You know, and uh, when you spoke about marathon, yes, see, with uh, yoga, I went for my first marathon also at 56. <laughs> at the end of 56. <laughs> I that's what I want to say you are an inspiration to so many out there even for us so when you went for your Kashmir to Kanyakumari I was thinking you know I want to be like this when I reach 60 I want to be traveling I want to be doing everything which I enjoy doing even then so you feel that we are doing a lot of things but you have no idea how much you inspire us also oh I'm happy if I inspire you but uh, believe me <laughs> you guys are my lifeline I mean, uh, you know, for anything, if I look at you and if you have to, uh, if the moment you look at me and say, no, we do this, do that, I'm unconvinced. Yes. Okay, fine. That's it. <laughs> there is no doubt about it. Okay. So uh, when we do our yoga sessions, Fridays, we take you through deeper meditation. Also the workshops, which we have done till now, like clearing your old belief system, mm -hmm. changing the pattern of thoughts, mm -hmm. manifestation, mindset mm -hmm. meaning. You felt the energy between your palms. You know, we have done those energy generation, field gen energy field generation in our own yeah. body. Then uh, we did stopping the parental control of your mind. Yeah. And yeah. so many things where you have gone through the forgiving yourself, forgiving your parents, your inner child healing, all those things we did. Yeah. So do you feel that this is the need of an hour for everyone? Like what your experience you have shared. Yeah. But it is the need of the earth. Have you seen a change of relationship, like change in your relationship with your maybe spouse, your parents, your siblings, because of these things, how it was before and how it is now? Yeah, definitely. Because like I told you, see, my lifestyle has changed. The uh, environment has changed. It was very difficult for me to change my mindset. And to change my mindset, I needed something like this, a, a healing uh, you know, process. And because of this healing, I've become calmer. I know that. Because I am, uh, you know, whenever you're working in an office, in a bank, I was in the bank, things are never at uh, ease. You know, every time there is stress around. But now with uh, this healing uh, meditation that you do, I feel much calm. In fact, I am the only person at home, you know, where, you know, I can uh, sit calm for a long time. Unless, you know, it is so, it is triggered to an extent that, yeah, I have to raise my voice. But otherwise, it has helped me tremendously. It has, it has made, yeah, it has tremendously helped me. And uh, I know that. 
because I know because at this age, if I don't get it, then I'll never get it. So I am actually uh, thankful. I mean, I believe in Lord uh, in the Almighty in whichever name, but I am thankful that everything that happens, you know, happens for a purpose. So that I got into this FHY at this point of time, because if I, it's like this, you know, if I don't get fit now, I don't know how long I will live, but if I don't get fit now, I, I don't think I'll be able to, you know, handle my body at a later stage. So it has to come at a point. And now with the spiritual uh, guidance also and the healing and the meditation that you give us, that also I need I need it this time. So it will help me. I, and I'm very confident about it that it will help me in my years as long as I'm here. So your parents are also there around yeah, and yeah. at this yeah. age. Yeah, yeah. In fact, they are very happy, you know, that I'm doing yoga. Everybody is very happy. <laughs> okay, <laughs> because, so they see change in your temperament. Yeah, 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 yeah. They see change. And they, they, they themselves feel that, yes, I'm doing 10,000 steps. I'm doing marathon. So it cannot be that she's just doing it for fun. She's actually doing it. <laughs> so yeah, they are. In fact, my husband keeps encouraging me. So I'm happy. And if they, nobody wants me to miss yoga class at any point. That's Everybody nice. has, you know, this. Uh, they're all alert. Yeah, Lucky has a yoga class. Okay. <laughs> That's really nice to know when your whole family is helping you out to yeah, achieve yeah, yeah. your dreams and you know, they know that you need this space for yourself. You know, you need this time for yourself. And they understand that it's a priority for you now. Most so of the... As, as a youngster, I was not a very healthy child. Okay. I had a lot of, you know, issues as a youngster, as a teenager. And then when I grew a little older, even then I had some issues. So for them, that I'm getting fitter mentally, physically is a big thing. Even though they forget, of course, parents will never consider the age of the child. So they will forget the age. But the fact that mentally and physically I am becoming stronger is the big thing for them. And that happened only because I joined the yoga class. And I cannot think of any a player, a time when I'm not doing yoga now. So while you were in Middle East, that is before mm -hmm. joining us, right? And when you came here, you joined and we, have, yes. we know now, by now, we everybody, even the audience know your ship. But before that, as a person, how you were, if I ask you about your temperament, how it was before? My temperament, uh, yeah, I was a little short-tempered. <laughs> it's hard to believe now when you say this. <laughs> when you said you had problems yeah. in your teenage, yeah. child, yeah. you were not really yeah. healthy. That's when I was thinking, okay, that aspect we have never asked, we have never no. known. We know you only from a few years before joining us also, a few a basic short history that we have taken about you. Yeah, so uh, I, was I was short. I was. So the thing is, you know, because uh, it happens, you know, when you're working and I don't have kids, but uh, so my work was my everything. So my whole concentration was at my work. But uh, yes, there are uh, things at times, you know, at work when uh, things don't go according to what you think it should go as. So suddenly, you know, and unfortunately, at that point of time, I was also epileptic. So all that together, it bundled up and yeah, it gave a lot of emotional turmoil to me. So my mind was, you know, always an agitated mind. It took, it takes a lot of time, you know, for me, it took me a lot of time to come out of it. Hmm. Uh, now I feel a bit emotional like because this is this is one aspect I never knew about you yeah. um you always came across as a very patient very calm very receptible person so yeah. <laughs> so your epilepsy is also uh, what I understand now is yeah. you're out of it right yeah. you're taking that's what you have not got that yeah. Right. yeah because initial days when you had joined us you had told us of that yeah, and yeah, you were yeah. very careful about how to take your body without doing a lot of um you know um a lot of chaos in your head again because you were going through phases yeah. where we had to be very patient with you also yes. we went very slowly and I think initial days only we told you you know this is going to be a slow process you'll have to have patience and trust in us correct yeah and I that, remember yeah yeah that helped that helped <laughs> in every so way. now when you look at the old lucky and you look at yourself now I'm sure you are very proud of where you are at this age the kind of fitness and the kind of things that you are doing yeah. In fact, you know, I only feel one thing what I feel sad about is I wish I had met you earlier. <laughs> Even I was thinking like maybe at a younger age, you know, I would have been fitter, you know. 
and you know because the only thing now i want to do is you know like uh, do a little more of uh, trekking and hiking so i'm like okay do. my knee and my thighs you know so whenever you give any exercise for thigh and the knee i'm like very excited i know you're religiously doing it even if yeah. we tell you like it's okay no no i'll try one more time you will yeah. say i can give it a try <laughs> so that's that's a nice spirit in itself yeah uh, so i hope when your colleagues are listening to this interview they really see this change in you and they say oh this was the same like you know used to be right for all the time <laughs> yes definitely i just hope and in fact i have been recommending uh, you all to a lot of people oh, and uh, because uh, the thing is uh, you know it is only everybody has a starting trouble so it's but only it's only once you come into it and then you feel the difference in your body mind body it's only then you understand that yeah actually what was i waiting for true i mean this is what it is yeah so it makes a lot of difference it makes a, it really helps uh, i am i mean i will not uh, uh, stop in any way to you know tell people that uh, join uh, fhy <laughs> oh thank you so much thank you so much so Because i think you we have always my lifeline so i told you already yeah so i think uh, we have grown this far also only organically Uh, if you see our journey five years not that we have become a very big company or very talked about but whoever has been associated with us now uh, i don't think anyone has anything to say that we were not sincere in our efforts everyone i mean 100% we have this that they I knew agree. that we are sincere at our efforts absolutely no doubt about it. <laughs> i would give 100% to that yeah both of you i don't yeah yeah like, banker like, giving us 100% is a big thing no yeah no <laughs> no because like i told you i i explain you uh, the way you all do it you know to my parents and my family i say you know how they do it it will be like one person making me do and the other person watching me in fact sometimes even the breathing they watch you yeah. know during the breathing you will say oh no this while you were breathing your head was a little uh, it was tilting Tilted. to the left and the right and that is a big thing that's a big thing that perhaps even when you are doing a live session not an online session i mean nobody mm. would even watch it in fact i don't want to mention the name on live but initially yeah, i forgot actually you know i went for a class which was just for maybe one week i went and that was a, it's a big name there in dubai yeah like, i know i know you have mentioned it. it's a very yeah. big big brand in itself yeah big brand and we went there and we are newcomers i don't know the moment you enter in they don't treat us like newcomers they think that i can do surya namaskar from day one and i was like what the hell how can you do this and you know this is it's only when you all actually taught me what is surya namaskar only then that i could do it properly yeah in fact we started with you on yeah. chair right chair yeah. surya namaskar and yeah. now here you are full blast you do <laughs> all the surya a b ashtanga style everything you are doing now so that's a very big accomplishment because from chair yoga to coming on the mat sitting upright on the mat doing everything is yes as you say retrospectively if you see your journey it's yeah. amazing yeah really. it is only when you ask me i go back you know otherwise i forget sometimes you know that yeah once upon a time it was like this but when you are asking me yes i really know because i couldn't sit cross leg you remember yeah. that i couldn't yeah. sit cross leg i and because of the knee injury injury and the you know operation that i had but now i can sit cross leg very well yeah you you so sit in five minutes meditation yeah, yeah yeah i couldn't others i couldn't sit like this and you were saying something weight loss no weight loss yes i know i have to you know uh, but maybe because of the hormonal changes also sometimes i'm putting on a little weight but otherwise yes weight loss is something which i have to concentrate on so to make me a little more lighter while doing these exercises so yeah that i think um, our time and again i have told you that you should take a nutrition plan yeah. but again if you are happy without it you feel no i can manage with and this is what makes me content anyways you are fit yeah. and weight loss is another aspect altogether yeah so it's completely my choice if i want to have more weight loss or not if i feel that you know that is going to put an extra pressure on my head an extra stress on me i would try to maintain it myself so it is so even so that is also one thing even though you have been with us for so long uh, live yoga classes and off 
off and on we have told you also lucky we take the nutrition plan it will help you but yeah. have we ever forced you into never never, never so never. you have till now never taken a nutrition plan never come for any other classes this is the only class you attend with us and this is one thing i want to tell the whole audience we have yeah. never pushed our clients to anything never, we, never. in fact if anyone asks us call and ask you know uh, this is what is my aim this is what is my body like this is what i look for we directly tell you can take the group challenge that will work better for you or six work, six weeks is enough or sometimes we just say you know you will have to take 12 weeks it is going to be a slow process it will take time so whatever it is we have always been very true we have never tried to sell ourselves in all possible ways 100% definitely so i think you are a very big witness here to yeah it. yeah i i i i would vouch for it believe yeah. me we have never have sold it out like never, that really. never never in fact even while doing any of the exercise or anything i mean you know whatever our drawbacks are but you have never forced you have never forced because you know if if you force somebody to do something the whole mindset changes okay that is where both of you have a very good understanding okay you you both are uh, touch wood you know mentally and uh, you know so strong enough that you could handle all of us with so much of our weaknesses you know and i am really obliged i am really obliged i thank you so much <laughs> so it it uh, it is a motivation for us also by listening to all these things because um these things you have also never told us right unless now and yeah. this interview is totally unplanned i just tell you okay this is how it is going to be once we record we'll not stop so when you tell us these small small things like trataka you mentioned so it makes a difference to us to understand okay these are small things but it makes an impact even in the previous interviews we came across such small things um uh, which were consciously we had decided you know we never like our teachers told us we were at the right place to learn i would say we learned from a very old institute like 100 year old yoga institute because you are into yoga i'm talking about yoga and uh, the other training also we have done is we have spent a lot of money a lot of time to train et- you know ethically and to train with people who have been years into this profession whether it was our hiit training workshop advanced strength training workshop we have invested we you're not like these uh, there are many trainers who have come up like two months they will do something or they will work in a gym for six months and they call themselves um fitness trainer but we have actually done certification yeah. basic levels of courses into it so we were blessed to have learned from such teachers who teach us with the same kind of ethical practice that we bring across so one of our yoga teacher used to say na hata na bala so that is the reason we don't push with your body we always say that you don't fight with your body it yeah. will respond okay fine this is your limit we'll do a little more and stop there so that's, that's how it showed it showed it actually showed yeah in fact otherwise otherwise you know it was very difficult for me to go through it so easily i would no i wouldn't have been able to go through it and sticking along for almost two yeah. years is, and you know looking just, forward to it it is not only yeah. sticking along for this looking forward to is yeah yoga i have yoga it is like a big thing for me no i have yoga you know so i i don't like to miss it i don't like to miss it i told you now uh, both of you are like my sakhi you know my <laughs> lifeline <laughs> because okay. in any problem if even if you uh, when you tell no the it's okay that's fine and i i feel uh, convinced yeah it's human to have problems it's human yeah. to have aches and pains it's human to fall back and come back and as i said you are a big motivation to all of us we all look forward to when you're traveling again and posting all of this stuff <laughs> so it's i i'm sure you inspire everyone in fhy in fact so finally what is um, you have told so much about fhy and you have been praising us a lot so i'm not going to ask you that question at all <laughs> because now it will look like more propaganda of us rather than an interview with you <laughs> but thank you so much for all your praises if someone comes to you and tells you know i want to start my fitness journey lucky i see you and i'm so inspired tell me how to go about it tell how to start don't bring fhy in between but what would be your advice to that person i would i'm not looking for like you tell me i will tell them to go to fhy i know you are already doing that telling everyone about us but what would be your advice to that person who wants to start their fitness journey okay first primary thing you know because i do this with my cousins who are all younger than me so the first thing i tell them is start walking okay and i tell them start walking because everybody is just few years younger than me 
so i know they cannot do a, a you know a very hectic kind of uh, aerobics or anything like that a gym uh, kind of thing so i tell them start walking the moment you start walking you will feel the flexibility and the moment you start feeling the flexibility then start yoga so this is what i keep telling my cousins because everybody is going through that premenopausal uh, stage okay so when they are going through that i know that so i tell them this is it and this is what help me do tell them when you tell them to start walking do tell them to have good cushion shoes because um, yeah. in india in i'm sure in middle east you had good tracks to walk yes in yes. india we don't have yeah, that we don't. it is uneven it is bad for the knees to do. tell yeah. them to take care of their knees strengthening use cushioning cushion shoes good shoes yeah. Yeah. Uh, there are shoes there are companies which make shoes for walking jogging and all it's not your regular sneakers you know that you can just wear it yeah. to yeah. ask them to keep the shoes only for that purpose and yes. use that so that the knees are in good condition they don't sometimes we overdo because mm, walking it gives that spirit oh yes i could cover this much oh, kilometers yeah. today it gives you that hit and then you overdo it when you overdo it it is uh, you have this chance if your muscles yes. are not strong so it, it do starts. tell them yeah so this is what i have to tell everybody you know that initiated you know go slow you know in, initially only itself if everybody starts you know going it in a very rash way it doesn't help in yeah. fact then you know it, it it is an adverse effect also so, yeah also it is like short term thing you just yeah. do it for a few months and you are on the bed yeah 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 correct so that's what i have to tell <laughs> <laughs> okay thank you so much lucky dee for pouring this love and so much affection for us uh telling the audience out here whoever is listening that it is not impossible it is all in your head you just have to put your minds to it whatever your dream is whatever you want to do whether you are 50 whether you are 60 whether you are 40 whether you are 30 you can do it but do it the right way don't be in a rush to achieve your goal but you know the step by step process of it bifurcate it through what you want to do how you want to achieve it and step by step if need it take help from people who have expertise in the field and then reach towards your goal right like it yes thank you so, so much awesome. thank you for considering me for this interview <laughs> we had to we had no other way we had to bring you out to for everyone to watch and listen to your journey also because you know we have had clients who have been with us for 5 years no you you are not that old with us you have not been with us through inception days but you have joined us recently as i said you have not taken any other program with us not the nutrition not the workout only live yoga classes and the mindset training that we do in between so it is also very important to tell others that you know we are not like any other fitness groups who yeah. keep pushing you tell you you give us your picture we'll give you two diet plans free you give us your transformation picture and we'll give you this free we have never done this to anyone and um, uh, so listening to you it should be an inspiration to many out there especially those fighting with their premenopausal period fighting with their how the body is responding in this period how the hormonal havoc is causing emotional turmoil in you so reach out to anyone you have your trust on sure, sure. and start yeah. your journey for yourself and not for others right yeah, thank, thank you so much thank you so <laughs> thank much. you so much lucky